वेलकम टू द नवोदय विद्यालय फैमिली इन दिस इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एग्जाम्पल्स ऑन नंबर सिस्टम दीज एग्जाम्पल्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर जवाहर नवोदय विद्यालय सिलेक्शन टेस्ट स्कॉलरशिप एग्जामिनेशन एंड कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन सो आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल दीवर्स टू शेयर दिस इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो टू यूर फ्रेंड्स and students so let us see first question here the largest five digit number having three different digits so we have to write the largest five digit number having three different digits so see here if i write here 99987 so this will be the largest five digit number having three different digits see how many um, which are the different digits 9 8 and 7 these are the three digits using these three digits we can write a five digit largest number let us see second question so our answer will be c here the smallest four digit number having three different digits the smallest digit having three three different digits so here this is a smallest number four digit number having three different digits see here dear students here which are these three different digits 1 0 and 2 these are the three digits which can be used to write the smallest four digit number so therefore our answer will be this number of whole numbers between 38 and 68 number of whole numbers between 38 and 68 now no need of counting numbers between these given numbers dear students we will use one trick subtract right subtraction of these two numbers so it will be 30 and minus 1 this will be 29 so this c will be our as so this is very simple trick to find out the whole numbers between given two numbers the product of successor and predecessor of 999 so successor of 999 that means we have to add so 1000 will be successor of 9999 this uh, so successor of 999 will be 1000 and predecessor of 999 will be that we have to subtract one so it will be 998 so we have to write product of 998 and 1000 so 998 so product will be 998000 answer will be this the product of a non zero whole number and its successor is always an even number an odd number a prime number divisible by 3 so if you take any whole number non zero whole number eh? you take any non zero whole number and its successor so for example 4 and 5 then if we multiply we will get 20 and 20 is an even number so always remember that the if given non zero whole number and its successor if we multiply then we will get always an even number one more important thing important thing i can say that product of odd and even number is always even number the product of a non zero whole number even or odd and its successor so just now we have is always an the whole number is added to 25 and the same number is subtracted from 25 see here suppose x is an whole number if it is added to a 25 and again it is sub subtracted from the same number then the addition of these two numbers so minus x plus will get cancel so 25 plus 25 it will be 50 so 50 will be our answer so which of the following is not true see here 7 plus 8 plus 9 can be written as 7 plus 8 plus 9 so this is associative law of addition so this is correct then 7 into 8 into 9 can be written as 7 into 8 into 9 this is also associative law of multiplication then 7 plus 8 into 9 7 plus 8 into 
7 plus 8 into 7 plus 9. So this is wrong here because 7 plus 8 into 9 that means we have to multiply 8 and 9 and then add 7. So 7 plus 8 into 7 plus 9 this is wrong. Then 7 into 8 plus 9 that will be 7 into 8 plus 7 into 9. So this is the distributive law of multiplication or addition. So this is also correct. That means the false statement is this or the st statement which is not true will be C our answer. By using dot patterns which of the following numbers can be arranged in all the three ways namely a line, a triangle and a rectangle. So what is the meaning of this question? If we take one of these numbers, so which is that number by taking number of dots we can form a line pattern, triangle pattern and we can say that uh, quadrilateral also or rectangle also. So see here, we, I have taken here 10 dots that is a line, then here one more here by using 10 dots we can draw a triangle also. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then here if we take 5 rows of 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and these are 10 dots. And using these 10 dots, we can draw a triangle. Or if we take 2 rows, 2 rows of 5 dots, so this will be. So in this way, 10 is a number. By using 10 dots, we can draw a, draw a line, triangle and rectangle also. Okay, dear students, thank you very much. Please subscribe this channel and write your valuable comments. Thank you very much. Thank you.